in a world of common core standards. APPR. High stakes testing. Charter school proliferation. Value added. One woman stands alone having drawn a line in the sand. Oh my gosh. Wrong Diane. I'm sorry. That's a union thing I'm working on. The True Story of the Hiring of Diane Arbutus, narrated by Doug Saunders. So this is how he looks in 2015. Diane, have a wonderful celebration tonight. Hey, Mishka, where are you? You're next, buddy. Fun fact, when you Google Diane Arby's, this is what you get. And this. And this. And this. And even this. Yes, it defaults to Diane Arbus, famous photographer of typical Newark Valley graduates. But when you correct the search to find our Diane, this is what you get. And this, sort of. And for some reason, even this. Well, it is this Diane about whom a secret can finally be revealed. This, this is a true, true story. story. You have gathered here tonight to celebrate Diane at the end of her career, but I was present at the beginning of her career when she interviewed for the job as Diane North. Meek, mild Diane North sat down with Bill Disler and me to interview for the English position. She had a great resume. She had wonderful references. She had talents outside of teaching. A competitive ice skater. Summer stock actor. And her interview went great. I knew immediately we'd found the right candidate. Later that day, Bill and I met in his office to discuss the various candidates. I told Bill she was head and shoulders above everyone else we'd interviewed. And Bill said, you're absolutely right. And added, North. Diane North. I like how that name sounds. Let's hire her. How right he was. Our students had a North Star to look up to. Our English department always benefited from our Northern exposure. I'm not sure Bill would have guessed his Miss North would someday occupy his office. But I'm sure, like all of us here tonight, He's looking down in admiration on all she has accomplished. And if I know Bill, he's patting himself on the back for his wonderful choice.